Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, Red Wings Flames just concluded in Calgary, and I'll tell you what, that was much needed. Um, if you look at the score, uh, look on, especially if you were listening in the radio of the start of the game like I was, you can hear that Calgary set the tone early with a bunch of shots, getting a good looks, but James Reimer had made a bunch of, uh, already a bunch of saves. Uh, that changed um, in midway through the first period later on when Patrick Kane um, took advantage of the power play, getting his ninth of the season on assist for Moritz Sider and Robbie Fabry. Um, one minute later, um, JT Comp made it 2 nothing to the wins uh, after one, uh, came 4 0 after two, uh, Larkin on the power play from Kane and Gostas Bear, David Perron getting his 12th of the year um, from Andrew Kopp and Joe Valeno, um, and then Lucas Raymond finished things off in the third period off an seat assist for Morris Sider. James Reimer, 38 save, shutout performance. Really, really good in goal today. Um, just on it. Um, Red Wings were outshot 38 to 21. Uh, but um, after they made it 4 nothing, pulled Jacob Markstrom four goals on 12 shots. Just Calgary fans were definitely letting them know. Uh, the home team know how they felt considering that their last two home losses was this game to the winds and a loss to bottom San Jose in the Pacific. Um, and we also got an octopus sighting in Calgary today. So um, just a great response, especially after the last two games in Western Canada against the Oilers and the Canucks, hell of a way to respond. Um, so the winds are going to still hang on to the last wild card spot. Um especially with the Devils playing the Flyers in the first game of the stadium series. That'll be this weekend in East Rutherford, um, New Jersey. Um, they're taking on the Philadelphia Flyers. And also they're catching ground, getting a little bit closer to Tampa Bay Lightning, who as of currently two periods are down 6-1 to Florida in Tampa. Um, the Maple Leafs play later on tonight. Um, they uh, have an interesting matchup too. They are playing the Ducks in Toronto, so um, I don't know if, you know, the Ducks can pull it out, but a, a good result, even if it's just a point, even if Toronto only gets a point means the wins are getting closer and closer, but they have the last wild card spot held on. Um, the next game for the Red Wings is in Seattle, Monday afternoon, 3.30 p.m. Eastern. You heard that right. That is going to be on ESPN. It is President's Day, so... Um, the NHL will tends to on this day do uh, some earlier puck drops, um, so the Red Wings have an afternoon game in Seattle against the Kraken. So, um, but a hell of a way to respond. Um, hopefully, they can continue to move on from this, make it two wins in a row on Monday. But we shall see. Um, that's it for now. Happy Saturday, everybody, um, and let's go Red Wings. See you.